been the more dominant one as far as the scoring goes, but Brandon Sorensen is difficult to score on, okay? He's, he could stay in that match in the first in the first three minutes, so I think that this, you know, first three minutes of the bout is really huge. The activity that Rutherford brings to the table here early on is, I mean, he's really gone up a, you know, he's made a lot out of his red shirt year. He's been more of an attacking style. Who could forget the match that he had at Big Ten Network as a freshman at State College when he was able to go ahead, beat the returning and the eventual four-time NCAA champion, Logan Stieber. Really put him on the map there, but he's followed up, I think, with a lot of improvement. You're listening to Jim Gibbons. I'm Tim Johnson. We're at the University of Iowa Carver Hawkeye Arena for the Big Ten Championships. So 149 pounds. We started at 125, worked our way up 33 and 141. This is the fourth match of the 10 match championships. And Sorensen is a guy that, that, that just stays in matches and, it, and, and doesn't really add to the lead once he gets there. He's, he hasn't been the, you know, the bonus point guy that uh, he, maybe he could be, but uh, he's deceptive and he can get a shot off. And when he does, he, he's a 95% finish type guy. He doesn't waste much time, much energy. We've seen that here in some of the big matches. Remember that Oklahoma State match was able, easily able to get into uh, Kalika. Wow. You mentioned dominant, and Zane Rutherford, he is one of the most dominant wrestlers in the nation. Number three ranked in the most dominant category in NCAA award standings. Out of his 28 wins, 25 have been by pin, technical fall, or major decision. Active, heavy hands, right? A lot of motion, a lot of in and out, dropping, creativity. Doesn't like the position that he's in. He doesn't settle for it, you know? There's a good shot right there, but it was basically to set something else up. You're looking at the first meeting between two undefeated wrestlers. You know, you, you, you talk to the teammates of, of, of Brandon Sorensen and, and others, he, they, they, they consider him yep, up there with yep. Brent Metcalf. Oh boy, what a, just a, a drop in shot right there. Look at that Too finish red. there. This is trouble for, for, for Sorensen, particularly with 40 seconds left in the first. Boy, that was a My claw. Rutherford just grabbed the back of the knee and pulled it in. Tim, Tim, did you see the, the shot that he took to the right hand side earlier about? I said he's trying to, that's a misdirection type of setup, all right? Take a look at this. He, he, gave, he gave the feel like he was going right, and then he just dropped down, right? Peeled off right there. It's Kept a, that a, head in the chest. But not a lot of guys. I mean, Sorensen is so good. I was just trying to make that point with his head hands defense, and that and, 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 uh, Rutherford just made it look easy. Here's how the 141-pounders finished, the top eight. Um, at uh, 141. Look at the... Ashnok, uh, Gulaban, Jordan, yeah. Thorne, Sabatello, Gassa, Abaddon, and Fisher. Yeah, and then Micah Jordan with the fall, so that gave uh, Ohio State two more team points, so it's 122 to 121, the score between Iowa with the lead over Ohio State for second. The, the top seven there in those eight qualified automatically for the NCAAs. Good work there by Sorensen coming up. And this is the... Uh, part of championship wrestling. It's not just getting the takedown, it's finishing in the top position to end the periods. You know, a lot of instruction going on. Cody Sanderson. You, know, you want to keep your elbows in. See how his right elbow was tucked in right there? He understood that he's going to try to control the waist, and do it with footwork. Sorensen, so tough coming in. He's keeping his elbows in and his wrist out. Good mat return by Rutherford. Good old spiral ride right there. Sorensen has probably one more explosive move coming out of this. See if he feels it. Nope. That was great work on the top position and a great adjustment. I looked over at the corner. I saw Cody Sanderson keeping his right elbow in. And if you see the exaggeration that Rutherford had on that start, it was slice in with that right arm to control the hips. A lot going on here, three ring circus at uh, the University of Iowa's Carver Arena. On the right, they're going for third place. On the left, they're going for fifth place. And we're zooming in on the championship match right here at 149. Two undefeated wrestlers, Sorensen 
and Rutherford, and Rutherford gets that quick escape to match his uh, takedown 3-0 lead early into the second period for Zane Rutherford, the redshirt sophomore. He was second as a true freshman two years ago to Logan Stever, redshirted last year, and has come on with a vengeance this year. Both wrestlers having great years. Sorensen, a four-time Iowa State champion out of Denver High School, and Zane Rutherford is a three-time state champion out of Pennsylvania. Homegrown young men wrestling for their state teams. Yeah. So far, Sorensen hasn't got anything close to what looks like a, an opening. And you see that in-out motion, the control, you know, and even when he got his head stuffed in that situation, Rutherford was able to keep his feet active and circle back in. Again, works the head, drops his level, creates an angle right there. Oh, beautiful wow. shot. Great job by Sorensen getting yes. his legs back. That was, most guys go down with that one. It was a great job of hips and warding off that shot by Sorensen. Great defense by Brandon Sorensen. He exploded right when uh, Rutherford was going to make the, the, the switch. 30 seconds left in the second period. Sorensen, as you said, trying to find that opening, not getting it. Uh, Rutherford getting one shot for the uh, two points in the first. That second shot that just happened, Sorensen was successful in warding him off. Yeah, critical for Sorensen to stay in this match. You're looking for your offense, but if you can't get it, you want to keep the pace up. Certainly don't want to give up any points. That was a direct shot. So the end of the second period, Sorensen will get his opportunity going underneath. Good look at, take a look at that defense there by Sorensen. Here's the shot, right? Good Boy, the work kick there. out there. And, and see how the chest was up and he dropped the hips onto the mat, shoelaces flat. Now Rutherford forcing that leg in right there. Now he's got the head and arm locked up. This will be trouble. You talk about, uh, you know, putting yourself in the saddle sometimes and... Well, getting out of legs is, is, a, is a like, you know, unsaddling a horse, okay? The legs are the stirrup, all right? And what Sorensen has to do is push the stirrups away to be able to unleash the saddle. So, you know, if you pull that ankle into you, you're basically cinching up the saddle. And you don't want to do that because a guy like uh, Rutherford already has strong legs. He's going to put the pressure on you, but I... He's really coming down hard in that, that uh, referee's position. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a caution against him, but good job of following. Leg comes in, the left-hand pocket between the elbow and the knee was left wide open there, and, and Rutherford puts the leg in. This is like at least 20, 30 seconds of riding time. He gets a leg in. And we mentioned before, Tim, when we watched Zane Rutherford, what makes him so dominant is that, that he really makes the guy work. You know, some guys make you work in the, on the feet, others make you work, you know, trying to ride him. But he makes you work in every position. It's, it's a chore to, to follow him riding, and it's, it's certainly a chore just to get back to your base once he gets a leg in. And Swordson receives a warning from the official for stalling. That's the first warning, there's no points, but uh, Rutherford with 45 seconds left. Uh, very dominating fashion so far, a takedown in the first period, an escape in the second, and a ride in the third. So far, very dominant. Able to take away the base from Sorensen. Yeah, it, what Sorensen is doing well right now is he's keeping his wrist free, but now he's just coming over the top. Rutherford is and really making Swords and carry a lot of those. See how he rams that right elbow forward. Rutherford remaining heavy. Doing Spreading a great him. job of uh, riding and keeping the pressure on Sorensen and is going to get uh, riding time. He's going to get an extra point as the time runs out. Zane Rutherford's going to get his first Big Ten championship as a sophomore. And you're looking at the champ. The redshirt sophomore from Penn State, Zane Rutherford, goes to 29-0. And as you talk to him, Jim, he's advancing into the NCAAs with a lot of momentum.